Section 1.4 is about interface and cable issues. Let's get started with collisions. Collisions happen when two devices transmit data at the same time on a shared medium, causing data corruption. For example, in a hub-based network, which is rare today, all devices share bandwidth. If two PCs send data simultaneously, their signals collide. This is handled by Carrier Sense Multiple Access with Collision Detection in Half-Duplex Ethernet. In this technology, devices listen for a carrier signal before transmitting, and if a collision occurs, they stop transmitting, send a jam signal, and wait a random amount of time before retrying. How do we identify collision? We can use the show interface command on a switch or router. And we can look for collisions. A high value indicates a possible duplex mismatch or shared media issue. Collisions should always be a zero on a full duplex links. We can also look for late collisions. This happens after the first 64 bytes of a frame. This usually indicates duplex mismatch. And collisions happen in half-duplex environment. If you're seeing collisions on a switch, it's likely a duplex mismatch. Let's now talk about the different errors. Interface errors include CRC errors, runs, giants, input errors, and more. Let's start with CRC errors. A CRC error occurs when a received Ethernet frame fails the CRC check. This usually indicates the frame was corrupted during transmission, commonly due to bad cabling, EMI, or faulty NICs. How do we identify CRC errors? We can use the show interface command and look for CRC. CRC error is layer one problem most of the time. If CRCs keep increasing, check cables, connectors, or try a different port. Another interface error is runt. A runt is a frame smaller than the minimum Ethernet frame size, which is less than 64 bytes, but with a valid CRC. Causes of runs can be collisions in half-duplex networks, duplex mismatch between devices, or faulty hardware. How do we identify runt's errors? We can use the show interface command and look for runt. Runs often mean duplex mismatch. So always verify duplex settings using the command show interface, interface ID, status. Then we have the giants. A giant is an Ethernet frame larger than the standard MTU, usually greater than 1518 bytes for standard Ethernet, and it's dropped. Some Ethernet equipment supports jumbo frames, which allow for a larger payload and therefore a larger total frame size. A common jumbo frame size is 9000 bytes. Causes of giants can be misconfigured MTU settings, malfunctioning NICs, or jumbo frames not supported or mismatched. How do we identify giants errors? We can use the show interface command and look for giants. Giants often indicate MTU issues. We can compare MTU sizes on both ends. If using jumbo frames, make sure both devices support them. And we also have input errors. This is a generic counter that includes many types of receive errors. Input errors is an umbrella term for the other errors like CRC errors, giants, runs, or framing errors. If this counter is high, we can break it down by checking CRCs, frame errors, runs, or others. Let's now talk about duplex mismatch. Duplex mismatch happens when two connected network devices have different duplex settings. One is set to full duplex, which can send and receive at the same time, and the other is set to half duplex, which can only send or receive and not both at the same time. The result of this will be collisions, low performance, and packet loss. How do we identify duplex mismatch? We can use the show interface 
interface ID, status, command, and look for duplex settings. Or frequent late collisions. A tip for the exam, match duplex settings on both ends. Also use auto negotiation when possible unless you have a specific reason not to. This is how we set duplex auto negotiation. And last for this section is speed mismatch. When two devices in a link are set to different speeds, they may not communicate properly. For example, an admin hard sets a switch port to 100 Mbps, and a connected server NIC negotiates 1 gig. How do we identify speed mismatch? We can use a show interface, interface ID, status, command, and check speed column. Mismatch speeds may show as not connect or error disabled. We can use auto negotiation when possible unless you have a specific reason not to. This is the command to set up speed auto negotiation. And here's a table to summarize the errors, their common cause, and fixes. Happens when one end of a link is set to full duplex and the other to half duplex, causing collisions and performance issues. Ethernet frames smaller than 64 bytes, often caused by collisions or faulty NICs. Umbrella term for errors that can include CRC, runs, giants, or other malformed frames received on an interface. Occurs when two devices are set to different transmission speeds, preventing a proper link. Errors that usually mean the cable is damaged or experiencing interference, which corrupts transmitted frames. Frames larger than the allowed size, possibly due to misconfigured MTU or faulty equipment. 